Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an M44, the Tier 6 American SPG. This one's located on the defending team of Ghost Town Assault, and it's under the command of Huggy9999. Game on. Okay. Well, the M44, you all know it. At least I hope you do. 155mm howitzer mounted in a swivel bracket on a Walker Bulldog hull, which makes it rather fast, but also means it's got a very wide field of fire. Okay, he's moving off down to the south end of the map, so he can cover the cap from there, and he can also shoot at enemies who try to come up through the town or along the south side. Okay, he's got some company, a Hellcat and a Strid M4257. He's going to need those guys. Okay, it's a good spot. It's behind the rock, which means that enemies coming from the south side won't see him until it's really, really close. His first target is a Nude SO3 and a Leo who've gone right up on top of the mount on the north end of the map. Rounds out the Udas. Direct hit! 203! And you notice Huggy moved forward whilst he was watching to see exactly what happened to the shell but he's avoided any counter battery now he's almost ready for his next shot rounds out and Yudas. he's moving back into his old position and he killed the Yudas. lovely shot we saw the kill okay he's going back to the same spot again this time he's going for the leo dialing in almost ready Following the Leo, waiting for the moment he stops to take his shot. Following him. Oh, no, I'm not sure if he got that. But, oh, the Leo drove back into the shell. And, oh, to avoid counter-battery, he almost mounted the rock there. <laughs> yes, you do have to be careful sometimes if you're driving without looking where you're going. And he's got company now. An FB207's turned up. Yes, it takes him a little while longer to actually get to where uh, the firing position. Okay, in the town we can see a T29 and there's a Sherman Jumbo there as well, the M4A3 EC2. Rounds out on him. And well, he pulled away before we got to see what happened to the shell. I think he's finding the space a little cramped. Yeah, that's the Sherman Jumbo, the, the M4 with the extra armor on the front. First tank into Bastogne. Well, we don't see what happened to that shell at all. His reload time is 16.08 seconds, which suggests that he might not have the improved rammer, but he does have a rammer and he also has a gun laying drive. Okay, an enemy tank has appeared, a VK-3002M, the Panther prototype. He just took some damage from an RT, and I think we're going to fire in as well. And yes, you saw that. He got the kill. Even though he pulled out of view, because he was in direct line of sight, he saw the kill. Okay, it doesn't appear to be any other enemies there, because otherwise the strip would have seen them. Over on the west side of the map, we've got a T-29 sitting on the railway line. He doesn't realise he's been seen, or if he does realise he's been seen, he's moving a bit too late. And that shell did do a near miss for 33 hit points. T-29's been killed. In fact, there's two T-29s on the enemy team. And there's two Super Hellcats as well. There's the KB-2. In fact, that's the Derp Coronavirus version. He's up on the heights, and we just lost our Hellcat. The enemy's only got um, 10 minutes, in fact, so they've only got s 6 minutes left now. And we're going for the T29, rounds out, pulls into the rock. 218 hit points, that's a good one, but unfortunately didn't see what happened to the shell. Again, I can't stress highly enough, it's very important that you do let us see what happens to the shell, because otherwise it makes it a boring video for the tank drivers. They like to see what happens to their shot. Rounds up that corner. And again, he fires and pulls away. 
And it's not as if he needs to move the counter battery here because the enemy has not been trying to counter battery and there's only one enemy RT left now and M44 on the enemy team. Rounds out on the KV2 and he stays with it this time. Over on the other side we've got a Super Hellcat. Oh, two Super Hellcats, both together. And there goes one of them. The other one still full health hole, not for long. And there's the last enemy RT. In fact, he's one of only two left alive. We're dialing in. Rounds out on him. And it's a nice hit, but it wasn't a direct hit. It was only a splash. And the kill shot actually goes to the uh, Super Hellcat in the end. It's funny because I thought that kill actually went to the FB207, but no, apparently it didn't. <laughs> Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it's the second class tanker for Huggy 9999 in the M44. He managed to get a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in this one. He got 12. He got a Confederate medal for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. And his win eight from that game was 3,207, which is Super Unicum standard. If we look at the team scores, we can see that he didn't get the highest damage in the game. That actually went to the Super Hellcat on the enemy team with 1594. And then after that, it was joint jointly between Huggy and the TS5. Both have 1501 exactly. And uh, when it came to kills, again, we can see it's the VK3002D, the heavy tank number six, and the Super Hellcat on the enemy team with three kills apiece. And Huggy gets uh, joint second place with the um, TS5 again. They both had two kills. But when it came to base XP, there's a big difference. And obviously the reason for that is that um, the Huggy actually was tier six, whereas that uh, TS5 was tier eight. And therefore obviously he was earning more XP from every shot he fired on a higher tier opponent. His XP was 934 for the win. 849 went to the VK3002D and 770 went to the A44. He fired 11 rounds, got 7 direct hits, no penetrations but 10 splash. Damage of 1,501 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. Damaged 80 the enemy, killed 2, and did 848 hit points of stun assist or 6 stuns. On a premium count, he earned 39,254 credits, and after ammunition, resupply, and consumables, he took away 13,699 credits. He got 56 bonds from that award, that's a huge total. And he also picked up 1,401 XP and that, that, there was no additional multipliers or anything else. So that's all the experience points he took away. But it was a very, very good score. Wasn't um, It wasn't top damage, actually. He says top for damage. Top for damage on your own team, but um, not for top for damage overall. Because, of course, that Super Hellcat managed to pip you for the top overall. But he didn't pick up a high counter, but I think because that wasn't 20% of the enemy hit ball in total, and that's why he didn't qualify. But it's a good game all the same, and if you've done it, got a confederate, it shows that you have been doing your job properly. And of course he got two kills out of it, which is rather nice as well. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel please, and thanks for watching.